was the original project until I got off into everything else. But this is the brake control module. It's a brand new one. I just put it on here. I'm going to. And seeing how I got it all up <clears throat> in here, done change the blades and everything. <clears throat> you can see it better now, but that's where it goes. And you see those rods, there's two of them, one on each side. And if you'll look, they go down to that little horseshoe. Yeah, and what that does is it locks the brakes up on it. Yeah, one on each side. So that when you, it's, it's a park. So when you pull the arms over here, those things are supposed to lock. Now when that goes out, they lock and you can't move the mower. And also, your ignition doesn't work, your PTO doesn't work, and uh, you have no, it grounds out the coils on the motor itself. <clears throat> and then the only way around that is you'd have to bypass it and do some rewiring and stuff. And I did that just to get it where it run. And I'll show you later when I take all this off. I did that. Yeah. But we're going to take it out. That's where it goes, right there. Right down in there. And then that plug plugs right down into it. Right there. Yeah. So it's real simple. It's got four Phillips head screws. And then take off a pin off of each side. Slide those bars off. Drop it and put the new one on, and you're good to go. And plug it all back in. And we will show you that here in just a minute. Yes, sir. Enjoy.